Hey y'all, it's me, Dr. Lynn Daniel, coming to you today from my Lynn Daniel channel here on YouTube. Today I want to talk about peeling the layers of our emotional lives. Yeah, peeling, peeling the layers back and looking closely at the trauma that was experienced during 2020, the pandemic. How did it impact you? Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because I've written a book. This year I wrote a book. I took my notes for my research on adverse childhood experiences, toxic relationships, from conversations with teachers and adolescents and uh, self-searching, my own self-search. And I put together this book that will be coming out in a couple of months. So I, I really want you all to just follow along and pay attention, leave comments, you know, ask questions down below in the, in the comment section. Thumbs up this video too if you find it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification icon so you can know when I upload videos because listen, 2020 was traumatic for the, the globe right and we are still experiencing the trauma of the pandemic with new mandates and 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 all the information that is coming to us and plus the unknowns that we have about what we experienced and you know the pandemic the cause of it and those things are traumatic they lodge in our body trauma lodges in our bodies right it lodges in your emotional you know, man is three part. Mankind, we have a spirit, a soul, and a body. So your spirit, that most innermost part of our being that is connected to God, that gives us that insight, that gives us the ability to have hope and to persevere through trials. And then you have your soul, that part of our being where our emotions and desires lie and our will to choose to do things you know, that's our soulish realm, the things that we enjoy, our habits, lodge in our, you know, that's our soul. And then our body, you see the body, that's our, our physical suit, our birthday suit. So, when we experience trauma, trauma lodges in us. It lodges somewhere, either our spirit, our soul, our body, or all three, or, you know, a combination of the three. And so it's important for us to develop protective habits, interventions, and what are called compensatory practices, right? So that uh, they're known as PACEs, protective and compensatory experiences that can mitigate trauma, especially when you're talking about uh, adverse childhood experiences. You know, m many of us, if not all of us, have gone through horrific things in our childhoods, whether that's illness, losing a, a loved one and grief, um, harm to us or someone we care for, right? Abandonment issues. There are so many things that young people can experience because the young are the vulnerable and they need to be protected. And so, um, you know, that's what my book talks about, toxic relationships. And how do we find ourselves in toxic relationships? If we peel back the layers and we look at it uh, from, I would say, a psychological or spiritual perspective, because I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a psychologist, but I am an educator trained under some of the best teachers out here on SEL and on adolescent education and on uh, anti-bullying and and so much right so uh i know what i'm talking about i don't know why i'm stumbling but um because it's it's very it's close and dear to me and i see it i see it in action i see my students i talk to teachers in my teacher communities teachers who teach across the globe and we share our stories of how we're dealing with the trauma of 2020, with the mandates and all the unknowns. And we share 
our concerns about our students because of what the students have shared with us. So this is real to me. It's, it's right here on my sleeve. And it's important that I share out with my community what I'm discovering about my own self and how adverse childhood experiences can twist and pervert your true sense of who you are. It can twist and pervert your truth. It can prevent you from recognizing your true value and that you deserve healthier relationships. It can psychologically uh, impact your perspective about relationships and the world and your place in it and make you feel like you deserve or belong in places that don't honor you, right? And that could just be because of what you saw and what you experienced in your youth or what you were told uh, in your life. And so, um, yeah, my book is coming out in a couple of months. And in the book, I encourage you, because I was encouraging myself, to peel back and then implement Implement these protective actions that can help guide you from toxic relationships to emotional wholeness and wellness. And so, you know, all of us, again, all of us are traumatized from 2020. You can sit down, if you just sit down with a sheet of paper and list the things that you had to do differently because of 2020 and then on the next to those things how rate them how how did you feel about about what you had to do like you couldn't visit your grandmother or right, on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being the most traumatic or let's say 1 being no not a problem 0 zero to 10, zero being not a problem, 10 being extreme problem, right? Um, how would you rate not being able to visit your relatives or your grandparents? And all these things that we experienced in 2020 because of the pandemic have impacted us. And when you experience adverse experiences, traumas, they lodge in our bodies and our souls and our psychological spirits, right? Even in our brain, our brain is a part of our body, but then our brain is also a part of our soul, even though your soul is also in your gut and in your heart and in your diaphragm. Um, but the impacts, they lodge. They lodge and you feel them, you get the tummy ache. You get the headache, you get nervous. That's your body reacting to the trauma that you have experienced. And if we pay close attention to how our bodies react, then we're able to have a discussion with ourselves about the experience. We can start by saying, oh, I recognize my stomach feels tense when I think about not being able to see grandma this year. Or I get a headache when I worry about, when I think about is grandma getting her proper meals? You know what I'm saying? So the point that I'm making in this video here is to encourage us to Take a look at the experiences from 2020, the traumas. 2020 was a trauma and a trigger. And it triggered many people in a variety of ways. If you, you do the research, you'll see that domestic violence, some reports say that domestic violence incidents increased. And then there are other reports that, that say that domestic reporting of domestic violence decreased, but with the caveat 
with the understanding or with the inference that because of the pandemic, victims were not, the victims could not get away from the abuser to have privacy, to seek help, to reach out on hotlines for help. And so those incidences for calls for help were not made. We all suffer trauma in 2020. How are you dealing with it? So in my book, I talk about routines, rituals, actions that you can take to help you begin to care for yourself and put into place preventive and compensatory actions that will bring wholeness and wellness to you in, in your relationships. And so I hope you all, I, I will keep you all informed. The book should be coming out in a couple of months and I will keep you all up to date on the book and um, I'm excited about it. And then there is a second book in the works. And so that book too will be probably, oh, I don't even know because there's a lot of research in uh, writing still happening and outlining and everything. And so um, I will keep you all informed on that second book in the series. But um, be sure to thumbs up this video if you found that it was helpful to you at all. If you're curious about the book, you can leave me a question or a comment. Um, you could even tell me in the comment section, how did you manage 2020? Did you pick up any bad habits in 2020s to compensate for the traumas? Or did you maintain your wellness routine and your wholeness? I can tell you, I gained 15 to 20 pounds during the last four months of three to four months of 2020. But thank goodness, with the help of my good nutrition team, I'm, I'm back on track. All right. Thank you all. Hit that notification icon so you can know when I upload new videos and subscribe. All right. Be blessed.